Hey there, Jim from Drum Art here, and I wanted to address a couple of questions that we received after last week's drum roll uh, weekly roundup vlog. Um, in it, we, we highlighted a couple of drum heads, one for a band called uh, Slow Train, I think it was, and one for a band called The Eight Balls. And I mentioned in that video that those heads were created through our drum head design tool, the Head Builder, and our online image catalog. A couple of people asked, what is that? How does that work? What is the difference? Um, and how do I create a custom bass drum head like those when I don't have my own artwork? Um, the answer is essentially in the combination of those two things. So the catalog is has access to literally 112, more than 112 million images. So you do a search in the catalog, find the perfect image for that represents you or your band or whatever, and then you can load that image into the head builder do all your layout design, add ports, port protectors, enlarge the image, add text, fonts, change fonts, all kinds of things like that. So the design part is done in the head builder. The image search is done in the image catalog and those two things work together. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna show uh, the process from Soup to Nuts for a band that just placed their order this morning called Fortress of the Bear. They, again, didn't have artwork or they didn't upload their own artwork. They did a search in our catalog and they did all the layout and design in the head builder. So I'm gonna switch it over to Photoshop and show you exactly what they came up with, and then I'll switch it over to the head builder and the image catalog and show you how they did it. This is the mock-up of the image that they created in the head builder, and then this is the actual uh, drum head that's gonna be created, and I'll show the final finished product at the end. Um, right now, I'll switch over to the head builder and show you how that works. Here we are on the drum art homepage. Um, and as you can see, the second option at the top of the page uh, is to order. So you click on order and that brings you to uh, this page where you have three different order options. The first is to upload your own artwork. The second option is to choose from our online image catalog. That's where we're going to focus right now. The third option is to leave the work to us, which is what you would do if you had an image file that didn't maybe meet our minimum requirements for the head builder or if you needed a little bit more special attention. Right now we're going to go into the image catalog. Uh, as you remember, the, um, the band Fortress of the Bear, they used a bear paw uh, illustration. So we're going to just do a search for bear paw. Um, click the search button and it's going to return results. This is the image that the, that, that the customer chose to use. So we're going to click on that. It loads um, the image into our search result page. This gives you some more details about the image, some related images. Uh, but once you find the image that you like, you want to, you definitely want to use, you click on build my head and it's going to load this image into our hub, head builder. So once you're in the head builder, uh, there's a, many different options that you can choose. Um, the first thing we want to do is we want to choose what type of order we want, a full head, a removable logo, or marching head. So full head, 22 inches is standard, uh, select the type, we'll just say Aquarian Classic. Um, now, in the design area, we can enlarge the image. So we're going to basically recreate what our customer created and ordered this morning. So we want to be uh, roughly that size. Um, they also included a four, uh, sorry, five inch, five inch, one five inch brass port with a protector, or sorry, one five inch port with a protector. Any of these elements can be grabbed and moved around in the, um, in the uh, design window on the canvas. So, um, you know, once you place an item in the canvas, you can grab it and move it. That customer chose not to have the uh, drum art logo appear on their head. We're one of the only manufacturers that allows that option. So um, we're going to say drum art logo. We're going to set that to none. Now we have two lines of text. They included uh, FOTB in like a dark purple. Um, so we're going to add FOTB. These are where we add our text. The font is, I just know, called Wolfsbane. And the font size, I'm going to guess, is maybe uh, eight. Yeah, that looks about right. So um, that line of text is placed properly. Uh, second line of text says Fortress of the Bear. Of the Bear. Um, and I know that that font is called Typewriter. So we're going to, whoops, we're going to add typewriter and I'm gonna guess the font size is well, maybe three yeah that's perfect all right so um, now you see this jumped around this is one of the limitations of flash every once in a while that'll happen if it does just move your move your uh, element back to where you wanted it um, pretty much 
That's the design that they created. You can add your uh, port notes there. You can add any overall notes to that you want to add to the to the uh, order here. And then this is a very important uh, checkbox. So the allow drum art to enhance text checkbox essentially allows us to do what it what we need to do to make sure that your text is is readable, legible, you know, from a distance. That's really one of the more important things you want in a custom bass drum head. So uh, now we're going to switch back over to Photoshop and show um, the design. And this is the, you know, this is the design that, that we just created and we'll show exactly how that lays out. Here we are back in Photoshop. And as you can see, um, the, this is the actual uh, design file that's going to be used to print the drum head. And this is the file uh, that was created by the customer. So you can see um, it's basically exactly the same as what we just recreated. You'll notice here that the text has been outlined in white to make it a little bit more readable. Um, we do this when, when you check the allow drum art to enhance the text uh, checkbox in the head builder. So, um, you know, we have 60 plus thousand of these drum heads under our belt. We're pretty much the... Uh, experts on what works in, in design on drum head on a drum head so uh, usually a good idea to let our designers uh, you know make make whatever minor modifications they have to to make your drum head look as good as possible so right now what I'll do is uh, just get, we're gonna print this um, design and then I'll quickly show how the actual you know how the the end result uh, comes out So here you go, hot off the press. This is the end result, pretty much exactly as you can see what the client laid out and what we relayed out. Um, the lighting in here is not great, so the colors aren't representing very well in the video, but you get the idea of how easy it is to use the head builder, even if you don't have your own artwork or your own um, logo, image file, whatever, you can very easily use our online image catalog and come up with uh, some amazing drum art of your own. I just wanted to take one more second to show uh, just exactly how powerful and flexible the head builder is when it's combined with our online image catalog. So we're going to run that same search for bear paw illustration. Um, it's going to pull back all these, you know, bear paw uh, illustrations. Click on the one that the customer selected. But what if they had over here? You can see that there are related images to that one. Um, so what if that customer had said, oh, um, rather than a bear paw, for my band Fortress of the Bear. Maybe I'll just choose a bear um, image or illustration. So that's kind of cool. I like this one. Um, and what if they had decided on this one instead? Well, you know, this is the design that they came up with. This is the design that they created and purchased. But here's one that we came up with that's an alternate version, essentially the same, um, the same information, but just using that different illustration. So as you can see, um, you know, when you start doing these searches, when you start looking around and seeing what's out there or what's in our in the image catalog, you start to realize how powerful and flexible it is that you could, you know, either one of these is a completely viable drum head design. It just really goes to what is it that, that you know, I want as a customer. What is it that I'm looking for to, to represent myself or my band or, or whatever. So I uh, hope this helps and um, please keep those questions coming. We are happy to answer them and uh, we'll provide more content as they come in. Thanks again.